Imagine a man, a brilliant scientist, who irreversibly altered the trajectory of mankind's history. Not with an innovation for enhancing life, but a creation for devastation. This presents the enigma of Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was born into an affluent, intellectually inclined family in the vibrant heart of New York City, a place pulsating with life and culture. His early life was deeply immersed in the rich tapestry of literature, art, and without a doubt science. Even as a child, he had an innate fascination with minerals, a curiosity that transcended into a profound, lifelong passion for theoretical physics. His intellectual capacity was unsurpassed, guiding him through the esteemed corridors of Harvard University, from where he graduated summa cum laude in a three years. With the foundations of his knowledge firmly built, Oppenheimer embarked on an international journey to further his academic pursuits. He first attended the University of Cambridge and later the University of Göttingen in Germany. It was in these scholarly halls that he forayed into the domain of atomic science, a field that was only just beginning to take shape. His work was not merely significant, it was groundbreaking. His mind was a swirling of unexplored ideas and complex equations that dared to push the boundaries of human comprehension. However, it was in the tumultuous year of 1939 that Oppenheimer would leave an indelible imprint on the world. With the globe teetering on the edge of war, he was anointed as the scientific director of the ultra-classified Manhattan Project. Situated amidst the barren deserts of New Mexico, this was a government initiative with the monumental task of harnessing the colossal power of the atom. Oppenheimer's role was pivotal. He bore the weighty responsibility of overseeing a cohort of the most brilliant minds in the field of physics. Their mission was to unleash the atom's lethal capabilities. The task was laden with complex scientific challenges as well as profound ethical dilemmas. Yet, Oppenheimer met them head-on, propelled by a staunch sense of duty and an insatiable quest for knowledge. Soon, this modest man of science would be christened the father of the atomic bomb, highlighting the paradoxical relationship between power and its possessor. In the heart of the New Mexico desert, history was being made as the world's first atomic bomb came to life, casting an ominous shadow over the dawn of the atomic age. This era, a period significantly marked by the of nuclear power, emerged from the ashes of World War II. The Manhattan Project was the birthplace of this explosive era. This covert operation involving some of the greatest scientific minds of the time was at the forefront of it all. The goal of the Manhattan Project was not simple. The objective was to develop a weapon of unparalleled destructive power, an endeavor that saw numerous scientific breakthroughs. The creation of the atomic bomb wasn't just a technological achievement, was a journey riddled with scientific advancements, challenges, and moral dilemmas. The rapid advancement of nuclear physics during the period of the Manhattan Project led to the groundbreaking discovery of nuclear fission, the process that would eventually fuel the bomb. This was a milestone in scientific history, a game changer that redefined the boundaries of human ability. However, not all aspects of the project were celebrated. With the groundbreaking scientific discoveries came an array of moral dilemmas. The scientists, aware of the potential devastation their creation could wreak, were torn between their dedication to science and the ethical implications of their work. They understood that their scientific curiosity was being weaponized in the most lethal way possible, and grappled with the moral responsibilities this entailed. At the helm of this groundbreaking project was Robert Oppenheimer, a man of extraordinary brilliance. His leadership was instrumental in the successful development of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was known for his intellectual prowess, but also for the deep sense of responsibility he bore for the project. He led the Manhattan Project with a clear vision and unwavering determination, guiding the team through various challenges his leadership played a significant role in accelerating the project towards its end goal. Yet, as he, he watched the first successful test of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer's sense of triumph was tinged with a sense of foreboding. In July of 1945, the Trinity test marked the world's first detonation of a nuclear weapon. The explosion, a spectacle of unprecedented power and horror, marked a turning point in human history. 
the mushroom cloud, a symbol now synonymous with nuclear destruction, rose over the New Mexico desert, forever changing the course of human history. This momentous event marked the beginning of a new era, one where mankind now possessed the power to destroy itself. As the mushroom cloud faded, Oppenheimer found himself wrestling with the enormity of his creation. His science, once a beacon of enlightenment, had been usurped by the horrifying power of annihilation. This was not simply a new dawn, but a grim transformation that had been unleashed upon the world. And at the epicenter of it all was J. Robert Oppenheimer. The brilliant physicist, previously devoted to the pursuit of knowledge, was engulfed by the colossal ramifications of his own invention, the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer was by no means ignorant of the destructive potential contained within his work, he had been at the helm of the project that gave birth to the weapon that would change the world as we knew it. But there is a chasm between the abstract concept of destruction and its stark, brutal reality. When news of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki reached him, the devastating reality of his deeds came crashing down. Suddenly, the scales of abstract and reality were thrown into a stark balance, leaving Oppenheimer to grapple with the terrifying power he had unleashed. In the aftermath of the bombings, Oppenheimer was reported to have quoted from the Bhagavad Gita, an ancient Hindu scripture, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, he uttered. This chilling line, taken from a text that has contemplated the nature of life and death for centuries, seemed to encapsulate the internal turmoil boiling within Oppenheimer. He had unlocked a potent scientific secret, but at a heart-wrenching cost. It is reported that Oppenheimer carried a profound sense of regret for his role in the development of the atomic bomb. He was ensnared in a web of guilt, despair, and the painful realization that his groundbreaking work had been weaponized into an instrument of unparalleled destruction. His creation had not illuminated the path of scientific progress, but had instead cast a long shadow of death and devastation. Oppenheimer, once standing at the pinnacle of scientific achievement, found himself in the eye of a storm. A tempest of moral and ethical dilemmas swirled around him, presenting questions that had no easy answers. The same mind that had split the atom was now being torn asunder by the implications of his achievement. The scientific triumph had morphed into a tragedy. Oppenheimer was left to grapple with the weight of his creation. He had ushered in a new age, one of atomic power and potential annihilation. The mushroom cloud looming in the background would forever define his life and work, casting a grim shadow over the promise of scientific advancement. Oppenheimer's triumph in science as it stands had become a tragedy for humanity. His genius, once a source of pride, had become a wellspring of remorse and regret. Oppenheimer's journey after the Second World War was an apt illustration of the repercussions of his actions, both metaphorically and tangibly. Following the end of World War II, Oppenheimer found himself embroiled in a fresh conflict, the Cold War. As the wave of anti-communist hysteria, also known as the Red Scare, engulfed America, the political equilibrium shifted. Oppenheimer, famously regarded as the father of the atomic bomb, could not escape its ramifications. His past affiliations and proclivity towards left-leaning ideologies were scrutinized, thrusting him into the eye of a political tempest. Oppenheimer's role as an advisor to the Energy Commission was fraught with tension and conflict. He ardently advocated for the control and regulation of nuclear weapons, a stance that was seen as contentious, even extreme, by some. Oppenheimer held a firm belief that the atomic bomb was not merely a weapon to be recklessly deployed, but rather an instrument to be used only in dire circumstances. His vision was not centered around a world living under the perpetual threat of nuclear war, but rather one where science was harnessed for the betterment of humanity. Nevertheless, his perspectives clashed with those who considered the atomic bomb as an essential deterrent against the escalating Soviet menace. His political adversaries exploited his past, portraying him as a potential threat to national security. In 1954, following a series of rigorous hearings, his security clearance was withdrawn, bringing his government career to a jarring halt. This event had a profound effect on Oppenheimer's professional life. He was stripped of his previously held power and influence, and his voice was effectively silenced within the government. 
This phase of Oppenheimer's life was underscored by a deep sense of loss and isolation. The man once heralded as a national hero was now seen as a liability. Yet, in spite of the hardship, he remained steadfast in his beliefs. He continued to publicly advocate against the unchecked proliferation of nuclear weapons, emerging as a voice of rationality in an era dominated by paranoia and fear. Was it right to use such a destructive force to end a war? Is it ethical for scientists to use their knowledge to create weapons of mass destruction? These are questions that still echo in the hallways of academia, in the corridors of power, and in the minds of those who ponder the past and its influence on our present. Oppenheimer himself grappled with these questions. His story is a poignant reminder of the ethical dilemmas that can arise when scientific discovery is used for destructive purposes. Oppenheimer's life serves as a haunting reminder of the power of knowledge and the responsibility that comes with it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.